it's Ben from nextlevelguitar.com. Thanks so much for joining us today, bringing you another one of our Inspired by Lessons. And uh, excited about this one today. We're going to take a look at the rhythm stylings of one of the all-time greats. A lot of cool stuff, a lot of cool grooves and some fills. So we'll check it out. Hey, you guys, before we continue, click on the link in the YouTube text box below, and we will send you a free video lesson and a coinciding ebook. It's absolutely free. Nothing to lose. A lot of great information in there. So click on that link below, available only through nextlevelguitar.com, and we will continue on. All right, so as I mentioned, we're going to take a look at the rhythm stylings of one of the best guitar players ever. And uh, I think a lot of the times we focus on his lead playing, appropriately so, of course, because he was so amazing and so influential. Uh, but equally as influ influential is his rhythm playing, which is what I wanted to highlight today. So let's take a look at some of the characteristics of this style. Uh, the first thing that I want to go over is just kind of a nice rock gallop rhythm. It's going to be underlying all of our examples today. So if you can get a good feel for this rhythm pattern, it's going to make everything else we do that much easier. Nice and steady. Just uh, how I recommend getting this is cover the strings and just start kind of playing this gallop rhythm. Once you have a good feel for that, you'll see that pop up in pretty much all of our examples today. Um, you can try that with our chord voicing that we're going to be going to a lot. So we're going to be using this E9 voicing throughout today's lesson. And while we're down here, let's go ahead and go through a substitution that we'll see later too. This is an E13. And what you can start to do to get the vibe is to play our gallop rhythm and sort of toggle between your open uh, sixth string and that chord. Once we have that foundation, now we can start slipping in some fills and embellishments. And that's something that this particular player was really great at. Um, we have, you know, a one chord vamp is what it amounts to here. And just in endless, limitless possibilities of, of fills and embellishments that you can kind of throw into this style. Um, we can start out by just sneaking in some single note lines in between our basic pattern. So what we're doing there is in between our open string and our chord hits, we're just throwing a little hammer on riff. Here it is in context. So now we can take this a step further and uh, add a little bit more rhythm to our pattern. Uh, let's keep the example from the last one the same, but let's just add in some 16th notes to our chord. riffing off of a theme here. We're, we're keeping the one chord thing happening. We're keeping the, keeping that kind of rock gallop rhythm consistent and just making small changes here and there, much like this player would to uh, keep a rhythm part interesting. So next thing that we could maybe do is throw in that chord substitution uh, that we talked about in the beginning, the E13. Now we have two things that we can go to. We have two uh, go-to chords that we can sort of pluck from when we're playing in this vibe here, either the E9 or the E13. Maybe we 
want to do 16th notes with the E13. We're mixing and matching here to create our pattern. <laughs> that we could do is to maybe change up our single note run maybe something like this I like doing a lot of those combination slide things I think they sound really neat uh, and really indicative to this style so it's kind of like a double slide move is what we're doing there we're, we're hammering on seven to nine and then hammering on seven to nine on string five and then sliding and then sliding back so we got four notes there with one pick and then we pick that last one to close out time he would work in this position we're in if you're curious too like a E major sort of thing is what we're working out of so E major pentatonic my next little fill is gonna come out of some double stops out of that position really signature sound there so what we're doing is we're we're barring on strings three and four, uh, ninth fret. I'm gonna hammer on, pull off to the eleventh uh, fret on string four. Hammer on, pull off, all one pick. And then I kind of pull off to some open string slot there, and it goes by so quickly that I think it works in context. Once you hear it kind of quickly like that, it resolves to this note and seems to work out okay. for joining us today i hope you guys enjoyed today's lesson uh hopefully some examples that you guys can integrate into your own playing that's what we're all about here at nextlevelguitar.com and speaking of which please head over to that website nextlevelguitar.com there's over a thousand different video lessons there for you for players of all skill levels and all styles 1120 1000 120 <laughs> and counting keeps going up so thanks again uh once again this has been ben zinn for nextlevelguitar.com and i'll see you next time